Alright guys, um, uh, uh, real quick, I just want to say I'm sorry for the bad, um, video thing, the caption, the capturing device that I'm on, I'm on a 3DS, I have it set on a little late, because the area of my room is pretty dim, so, sorry about that, um, as you can see, I just have a couple of, uh, couple of cards here. Bear, rawr. No, just kidding. Um, got a, uh, got a, quite a, ba uh, pa uh, batch of Magic the Gathering cards here. I'm setting up a, uh, let's see. Roscat Route Seeker uh, Planeswalker deck. I'm have it set up to where it's a only Faraska. I got another deck which is already pre made here. Which is another Faraska. It's a Faraska uh, Scheming Gordon. Which is, I already messed with this a little bit. Um, because I already have a lot of Isalon and Rivals deck here. And so I figured I'd try to, like, add a little bit of flair to this one as well, you know. And I, I, I added a little beef for that. And, by the way, whoever did the artwork for her, big shout out. I really like this artwork. I love Faraska. I've always liked her... Uh, artwork and stuff like that. I like the storyline, how she does those, you know, just kind of, kind of reminiscence, you know. I really like that stuff a lot, you know. Also, um, same thing with the Merc Folk. I know two wild, two wild creatures have really wild hairstyles. Well, kind of like how, like, what's this creature called? The, um, like, Commander Worf kind of look from Star Trek. Has that long hair. Or the guys from, um, that one Blizzard game. Anyway, I can't think of it right now. I can't think today. Mine's shot today. Um... A lot of quite a, quite some stuff that is in here. Um, got some quite a bit of artifacts, like uh, I got some. I actually got some uh, tokens in it too. So I don't know if you can actually. Hold on. I got a couple of instants in here. I want to actually show you my artifact, my main artifact. Actually, I got four, five, six artifacts in here. I got the Conqueror's Galgan. I got two of those. Camera. Oh. Yeah, I got two Conqueror's Galgans. Which is a flip card, which allows me to get the, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, yeah. Yeah, I got two of those. Which is one of the, one, I got one in standard and I got the other one in foil. Yeah, I mean, because, like, I want to have a little word about a flare in my cards. And plus, I got a treasure map. Which is pretty neat card. Uh, I can sacrifice this one. And plus put a Lambert Carter on top of it. That I can sacrifice this for uh, any one mana of any color of, to my pool. And of course. One of my personal favorites. And this is the Traveler's Amulet. Pretty nice. I can just. Uh, 
I can actually, uh, uh, find my basic land for just one colorless, and then I can add it to my library. So, yeah. Again, I got two, uh, Gilded Sentinels, which is cool, which is a 3-3, three, three. so, yeah, that's my babies, of course I got a Jungle Hollow, that's the only card that is not its song or its arrivals, is the, uh, Kaladesh, which, which is just fine, either just doing, like, random gaming, Anyway, I'm not really too worried about the whole, oh, you can't use this card because it's banned and stuff like that. I'm not worried about that, because really, to be honest, I'm not really much of a, like, pro gamer or whatever that is for the mechanical gamer. I just like to play with, like, whoever at home. Because, like, face it, I'm not going to waste money just to go out and pay my way in just to be able to play a game to where I can pay, buy a game uh, not not buy a game but like stay at home and play the game for free and invite a couple friends just chat up have a couple coffee and shit and play so there she is I might actually use this in a pro tour not pro tour but uh, a thing so, there she is. So, if you want to see uh, my deck over there, the Faraska that I uh, messed with a little bit, you can. You already know what's in the uh, dual deck, Merfolk vs. Goblins, I'm assuming. If you don't, you can look that up. And plus, if you don't, this guy will come and eat you. Bye.